us. It is a cloudy start to the day with mist and fog that should burn back to the North Sea coastline, where in parts it will linger, but for the bulk of the UK, it's going to be dry, warm and sunny. Good morning, Sal and Roger. Good morning to you too. For many of us, yes, it is going to be ice cream weather today, but it's a chilly start for some of us, you know. Temperatures at the moment, though, in Achnagart in the Highlands, 14 degrees. Swansea, South Wales, 12 degrees. Cullowan in Northern Ireland, 11. And Peterborough, Buden, Scarborough, all in England. Well, where we've got the low cloud, for example, in Scarborough and the mist which is coming overnight from the North Sea, temperatures are that bit lower, so it is cooler. But most today are going to have a warm and a sunny day. Now, we've got quite a bit of cloud at the moment across central and eastern parts of England and also the northeast of Scotland. This cloud is a weather front out towards the west, turning the sunshine in the west hazy. Won't actually come our way properly until tomorrow. So today we've got light southerly breezes, but as we go through the day, what you'll find is all the cloud that we currently have across central and eastern England and northeast Scotland will burn back towards the North Sea coastline, where some of it will linger, particularly so around Aberdeenshire, rather like yesterday. Inland through the course of the day, we'll see a wee bit more fair weather cloud develop, turning the sunshine hazy at times, but no more than that. UV levels today are high or very high, very high in the south. So something certainly to be aware of if you're spending any time in the sunshine. And we can see temperatures getting up to about 24 degrees, maybe a little bit more. If it gets higher than 24.5, it will make it the warmest day of this year so far. But it will be cooler along the North Sea coastline where we hang on to that low cloud. Now, if you're tempted to go into the sea, it is still a bit on the nippy side. You'd be a braver person than me. These are the sea temperatures, 8 to about 12, maybe 13 degrees. A lot colder than your bath. Now, through this evening and overnight, we see a return to all this low cloud mist and fog coming in from the North Sea. You can see how our weather front starts to advance a little bit more in towards western areas. But whichever way you look at it, it's not going to be a cold night. So here is our weather front on Tuesday, just slowly coming in. It's bumping into a ridge of high pressure, so it's not going anywhere particularly quickly and it's not particularly strong for that matter either. And after a cloudy start inland, you can see how that pushes back once again towards the North Sea. And again, it could just linger in some parts for much of the day. But for most, it's going to be a dry day. It's going to be a sunny day. There's the risk of an isolated shower getting in across Scotland and Northern Ireland, but most will stay dry. And tomorrow we could hit 25, maybe 26 degrees. So it could be warmer than today. So we are expecting it to be the warmest day of the year so far tomorrow. Incidentally, yesterday, Northern Ireland, Wales and Scotland all had their warmest days of the year so far, but not in England. And then as we head on into Wednesday, still a lot of dry weather around, still a lot of sunshine, a chance of some showers coming in across the southwest, getting into Northern Ireland, South Wales, which could be thundery, with temperatures still in the high side for early June. Sal and Roger. That is great. Indeed, but first of all, we've got some low cloud mist and fog to get rid of from central and eastern areas. Most of that will burn back to the coast where some of it will linger much of the day. But for the bulk of the UK, it's going to be sunny, dry and warm. Not yes. fair. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Well, it's going to be a lovely sunny day for most of us today. But first, we've got to get rid of a lot of low cloud mist and fog. As you can see from this lovely weather watchers picture taken in Cooper in Fife this morning. But it will burn back to the coast and then most will have a warm dry and sunny day. Now I say most of it will burn back to the coast. You can see we've got this lump of cloud across parts of central and eastern England and also the northeast of Scotland. Here, like yesterday in Aberdeenshire, you might hang on to it for much of the day. That will hold the temperature down and it'll be a grey day. But for the rest of Scotland, Northern Ireland, most of Northern England, again away from the North Sea coastline, we are looking at a fair bit of sunshine. Wales, Southern England, into the Midlands and the South East also having all that sunshine as we go through the course of the day as the cloud recedes back. And as you can see, looking at the North Sea coastline, by no means are we all going to have this low cloud. It will be fairly patchy. Temperatures are getting up to about 24 degrees. If we hit 24.5, that will make it the warmest day of this year so far. Yesterday, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales, you all had your warmest day of this year so far with temperatures between 23 and 24 degrees. Now, through this evening and overnight, it's almost a repeat performance because we've got all this 
low cloud mist and fog, so sea fret and har, coming in from the North Sea back inland. We also have a weather front approaching, bringing in a bit more cloud to the west. But either way, it's not going to be a cold night. Most of us, once again, staying in double figures. Tomorrow then, all that low cloud mist and fog burns back once again to the North Sea coastline, where some of it will linger. This weather front approaching will bring in a wee bit more cloud to the west. You could catch the odd isolated shower in Scotland and Northern Ireland. Most won't. And tomorrow, temperatures could be a bit higher than today. Sal and Roger. Wow. Good morning both. Good morning to you. Yes, Sal, for many of us, it is for many of us actually this week, it will be dry and it'll be sunny, it'll be warm. There are some flies in the ointment as we go through the week and we'll get on to them shortly, but it's a beautiful start to the day in Cardiff as well. Bit more cloud around in Hampshire across Eastern and some central parts of the UK. We do have a lot of low cloud mist and fog, but most of it will burn back towards the North Sea coastline, leaving us with a warm and sunny day. And if that tempts you to the beach, well, these are the sea temperatures on the last day of May. The 8th, 9th, 10th, maybe a 13 in English Channel, still a bit in the nippy side. So this morning we've got the cloud across central and eastern areas. This big area of cloud here is a weather front which is approaching and won't do much more today than turn the sunshine that bit hazier. So the cloud we've got burning back towards the North Sea coastline. Some of it will linger across the coastline of eastern England and also northeast Scotland as it did yesterday. But by no means will the whole of the North Sea coastline be shrouded in cloud. Most will see some sunshine. Sunshine hazy through the afternoon at times with highs up to about 23 or 24 degrees. Now through this evening and overnight, back in comes this low cloud mist and also some fog. And out towards the west, we've got advancing cloud ahead of the weather front. As a result of all of this, well, and also the southerly breeze, it's not going to be a cold night. So here is our weather front coming our way for tomorrow. Little ridge of high pressure, still things fairly settled for most of us and with light breezes as well. So we start off with the cloud in the east and some central parts pushing back towards the North Sea coastline. Like today and like yesterday, some of it will stick, but not all of it. And out towards the west, we could odd shower in western Scotland, the west of Northern Ireland from the weather front, but most will stay dry. And if anything, tomorrow looks like being that bit warmer than today, we could hit 25 or 26 somewhere. And if we do, that will make it the warmest day of the year so far. As we move on into Wednesday, again, we start with this low cloud across the coastline, most of it pushing away. Then we've got another dry day, some cloud building up through the afternoon, some fair weather cloud. And a weather system coming up from France looks like it could well produce some showers, which could potentially be thundery across parts of southwest Wales, maybe as far north as Northern Ireland, southwest England and the Channel Islands. But again, temperatures still in the low to the mid 20s for some, just a little bit above that. Then as we head on into Thursday, still a lot of dry weather around. Still a few showers, though, as you can see, just dotted around here and there. And the temperature is still above average for the time of year. Roughly speaking, north to south should be about 16 to 19 degrees. So we're still looking at the low 20s heading towards the mid 20s. So all in all, this week, if you have got it off, it's shaping up quite nicely, Sal and Roger. Oh. Certainly could, but we have got a lot of cloud across central and eastern areas that will burn back to the North Sea coastline where some of it will linger, but for most it's going to be a dry, sunny and warm day ahead. Good morning both, good morning to you too. There is some cloud around this morning, particularly across some central and eastern areas, but most of that should burn back towards the North Sea coastline. And for most today, it's going to be another dry day, a sunny one and a warm one. But how long is this warmth going to last? Well. Let's take a look. You can see the temperature gradients. We've got greens, not greens, oranges and yellows across most of the UK. If we had greens, we'd be in trouble. But you can see we've got the yellows coming in towards the weekend. So basically that tells you is temperatures will remain above average for late May, early June for this whole week. Now through the day, the cloud burns back to the North Sea coastline. It will stick in some parts, but by no means will it stick everywhere. And through the afternoon for the Channel Islands, for Southern England, for Wales, into the Midlands and East Anglia, there'll be a lot of sunshine with some fair weather cloud developing. Moving north, let's see a little bit of cloud clinging to the northeast of England and the coastline. But for the rest of Northern England, Northern Ireland and most of Scotland, again, a lot of sunshine. Aberdeenshire and the Northern Isles are hanging on to some of that cloud. And that means the temperatures for you will be pegged back. Move inland, we're back into the low to the mid 20s. 
Now, through this evening and overnight, we see a return to this low cloud mist and fog coming back inland from the east. Out towards the west, a weather front's approaching. That will bring in a bit more cloud as well. And in between, there will be some clear skies. It's not going to be a cold night, though, many of us staying in double figures. So tomorrow, all this low cloud mist and fog once again burns back to parts of the North Sea coastline where it will last. But the rest of the UK largely dry with some sunshine, turning hazy across Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. Here you might see an isolated shower, but most won't. And temperatures a little bit higher than today, except for where we've got that lingering cloud. I can't believe I said green. I meant amber and yellow, Roger and Sal. <laughs> Good morning, both. Good morning to you too. You know, it's mixed fortunes this morning. Some of us have got beautiful blazing sunshine as we've just seen in Salford. Others have a fair bit of cloud. This is a picture from North Wales this morning. South Wales seeing some sunshine. And most of us today, even where we've got the cloud, will have a warm, dry and sunny day. But some of that cloud will stick along the North Sea coastline. Now, you can't see it in this satellite, but there's a lot of cloud across some central and also eastern parts of the country. And we also have this thicker cloud out towards the west. That thicker cloud is a weather front. It's not really going to have much of an impact on our weather today other than producing a little more cloud in the west, turning the sunshine hazy. We still have a southerly breeze, so again, not particularly cold. Now, through the morning, we should see that cloud burn back towards the coast where some of it will linger and that will hold back the temperatures, but a lot of dry and sunny weather. In the west, there is a wee bit more cloud, so some hazy sunshine for you and temperatures roughly between about 20 and 24 degrees. If we reach 24.5, that will equal the warmest day of this year so far. Obviously, if we get higher than that, it will be the warmest day of the year so far. But where we've got the cloud lingering, that is where the temperatures will be lower. Talking of temperatures, these are the sea temperatures at the moment. Should you be tempted in? Not particularly warm. You really have to wait till September for the highest sea temperatures around our shores. Now, through this evening and overnight, we see a return to all this low cloud mist and murk coming back in from the North Sea. A weather front advances a bit more in from the west. It's not going to be a cold night, most staying in double figures. So there is our weather front tomorrow, slowly approaching, being blocked by an area of high pressure, so not making much inroads at all. And again tomorrow, just light breezes. So we start with all the low cloud mist and fog. That burns back towards the North Sea coastline, where like today and yesterday, some of it will linger. We could see just an isolated shower across parts of Northern Ireland and also Western Scotland tomorrow from that approaching weather front. Most won't. Most will have a dry day and temperatures up a touch on today. We could hit 25 or indeed 26. But don't forget where you've got the low cloud, temperatures will stay that bit lower. Now into Wednesday, a lot of dry weather around, still some low cloud hugging the coastline for a time, pushing away. Then we've got some sunny skies, but we also have an area of low pressure approaching from France. That looks like it's going to bring in some showers across the southwest, the Channel Islands, Wales, and later into Northern Ireland. And some of those could be heavy and thundery. Now, the jury's still out on this because our different models are being shown different results where it doesn't actually arrive on our shores. So it's one to watch. The temperatures by then up to 26. Sal and Roger. Carol